So he asked, did I read the internet searches? And I asked him about the internet searches. Like, what is he talking about here? And it goes back to a conversation that we had um, previous to May 25th, I guess. Uh, May 12th, it looks like. May 12th. Um, he says, think of the outcome of his life. It should all make sense. I said, I, hadn't, I haven't seen the doc yet. Yeah, so this would have had to have been 2017. Was he for or against it? So Friday, May 12th, this is what Mason Hendricks says and we're talking about the internet searches he says well look in your foia and see if it has the last searches he did on the internet and more specifically on the day he killed everyone that should give you your answer and if it doesn't have the web searches try and get them so something about the web searches right well we got those web searches we'll take a look at those two then. okay so let's go back and take a look at some of those internet searches let's do it and this is the dakota county Sheriff's Office Electronic Crime Unit. This is the examination report. This is a report, five-page report, before we get directly into those last internet searches. Let's just take a moment here to understand everything, not only about the internet searches, but about the electronics. So this report is to Detectives Tommy Booth and Detectives Brian Bone of the Apple Valley Police Department. The date on this is October 5th, 2015. And this report was prepared by Detective Shane Klokonos of the Dakota County ECU. On January 17, 2015, this detective, along with the detectives Thomas Jacobson and Ryan Olson from the Dakota County Electronic Crime Unit, ECU, assisted the Apple Valley Police Department with a search warrant at 1051 Ramsdale Drive in the city of Apple Valley. This search warrant was a result of multiple deceased bodies being found in the residence. The Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension was also present and processed the scene for physical evidence. Many electronic devices were taken as evidence from the residence. Those items are listed below. An iMac computer was located in an office type room in the southeast side of the house. This computer was powered on and had several external hard drives connected to it. The power cord was removed from the rear of the computer without shutting it down. A MacBook Pro was located in the kitchen. This device was found to be powered on and active. After the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension had completed processing it for physical evidence, I turned the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off. There was a text document on the desktop of this device titled Myth that had the words, I have loved you all with all of my heart. Later examination of this device showed this text document had last been saved on December 14, 2014 at 4.10 p.m., but an autosave version of this document, the open document, had been last saved on December 25, 2014 at 1.18 p.m. Testing on a different Apple MacBook found that the text documents created, then saved and open at a later time, and had changes made to the document, will be auto-saved after 60 seconds of inactivity. Photographs of the above described were taken and added to this report. This computer was kept in its awake state and transported to the ECU by Detective Olson for forensic examination. And so there is a long page two, there's a long list of all of the different electronic devices that they collected. Look at all these electronic devices, 35 in all. Now, you would expect to find something, right? You sure would. This includes the cell phones. I mean, look at everything this includes here. This also includes the David's Day One journal. Now, here's their conclusion. After reviewing all pertinent pieces of evidence, no information was found specifically related to the deaths of the Crowley family. Information was found that pointed to drug use between Mr. and Mrs. Crowley, and journal entries found on the Crowley's phone indicated many sleep-deprived days for Mr. Crowley. But again, no information was found specifically related to the deaths of the Crowley family. So let's remember that when Mason Hendricks says it'll all make sense if you look at his last internet search histories. Let's do so. So even though the Dakota County Sheriff's Office Electronic Crime Unit didn't find anything specifically related to the Crowley deaths in any of the electronics, we still have Mason Hendricks about two years later 
from this date in, uh, in 2017, he's telling me the internet search histories should explain everything. David's last internet search histories, specifically the day that David allegedly killed everybody. So he's also speculating, Mason Hendricks is also speculating that David killed everybody on the same day. That's pretty interesting too. How would you even know that? Item 5 is an Apple MacBook Pro with the black case. So that's what we're looking at here. And we're going to look at the last known internet searches. Okay, so this should go down to 12.25. He says specifically the days. Hendricks is saying to focus on the day that David killed everyone. 12.25, 2014. 2100 hours spirit science and metaphysics.com top five things you didn't know about christmas and probably should so that's what's being looked up on christmas doesn't seem very bohemian grove-esque but here is one uh, a few minutes later a few minutes later he's looking up alistair crowley googling alistair crowley and witchcraft, Aleister Crowley. But look at the website, www.jesusissavior.com. False religions. He's looking up false religions. Wicca, witchcraft, Aleister Crowley. Aleister Crowley exposed is another one. So these are all things, these are all reports kind of showing how Aleister Crowley has been exposed. So Aleister Crowley, he's looking up. Uh, from a from a Christian website that is exposing Aleister Crowley. He's looking up top five things you didn't know about Christmas. So the title of the last one is Aleister Crowley Exposed on Christmas Day at 2300 hours. That's the last internet history here. About 11 p.m. And before that was top five things you didn't know about Christmas and probably should. From a spirit science and metaphysics website. The Drudge Report was another one that he was looking at on Christmas Eve. So only two internet logs for Christmas Day. Really. Three te technically, but only two things that he's looking up. Um, about Christmas, five things you should know about Christmas, and Aleister Crowley exposed. Before that, he's looking up the Drudge Report. And the Drudge Report, you would just go to the main website and it would just have all these different things. So he was searching for that. On Christmas Eve, Bader and Iraq is another one on 1224. Another thing about Bader, OQ, Iraq, uh, 1224. My girlfriend and I are still virgins after being together for more than a year. It's a Guardian article, Life and Style. That was on there too on 12, 1224. And also on 1224 from the Guardian uh, sexual healing, sexual healing in the lifestyle sec, um, area. So I don't know. It seems very you know, passionate stuff. And then looking up sexual healing on Wikipedia on Christmas Eve. It seems kind of weird how this, and that's why I, I agree with the police with what they said. None of this relates to David, to the deaths at all. And they're completely right. And once again, Mason Hendricks is completely wrong. David was looking up a, um, or somebody on this computer was looking up something, a photo on Facebook. There's some history with Justin Kinsey that he did there as well. This is all on, and this is all between December 25th and December 20, 24th. There's nothing here for December 26th. There is another one on the 24th, um, rapturechrist.com backslash woman. And, of course, on the 24th, Gray State of the Rise, the Facebook group. So he's in the group. Mason Hendricks had this document at least by May 12th, um, 2017. We didn't get this till last summer. So we've had this document for about a year now. So then on May 25th, he, really, he asked me again if I looked into the Internet searches. And I told him, your FOIA seems very different than what we received. Unless I missed it, I don't remember any details about the last internet searches. That seems odd, but possible I just missed it in the reports. And I asked him, what were the last searches? Demons? Spirit cooking? And he says, this is all on May 25th. Well, they are very cultish, very Bohemian Grove-esque. So now that we have them, 
What do you think? Are they Bohemian Grove-esque? 